All right, welcome back. Let's recap some of this week's biggest stories in meme form. You know what that means. It's time for this week's meme team. John Tobacco still here with us. Also with us, Melanie Collette. We'll get their input on these memes in just a second. Are you guys ready to meme the news? Let's we go. We're going to start with Hunter Biden and those new charges handed down in an indictment today. This time the indictment includes all kinds of stuff. The summary talks about things like $680,000 to various women, $400,000 on clothing and accessories, $200,000, a separate expenditure account on adult entertainment, and $120,000 on telephones in three years. $120,000 on telephones in three years. That brings us to this one from Prison Mitch here, cell phone companies when Hunter Biden signs up for one of their plans. Also, uh, here's one from Grand Old Memes, an homage, if you will, to the Defiant L's format. You can see what it says on the screen here. Joe Biden tweeting back in 2021 that it's time for the wealthy to pay their fair share. And then techno fog below that with some of the charges you can see on the screen here. Failure to file and pay taxes, not paying his fair share. Also, back to the phone thing. Here's Hunter Biden dropping $120,000 on phones. That's what you kind of need to do if you have that many phones. You have that array there. All right, let's head over to Capitol Hill. Former member, I should say current member of Congress, Mike Collins is trolling Hunter Biden with Let It Snow decorations for Christmas. I don't know if we have any pictures of those, but you can imagine what it looks like around Mike Collins' office. But we also have this one from the congressman. He weighed in on Kevin McCarthy's retirement here with a classic Kevin James meme. That look on his face says it all, doesn't he? And then Dre Fanzer, our good friend, he uh, fixed Kevin McCarthy's never quit video to be more accurate, I guess, to the situation we're in right now. Here's what Kevin McCarthy would tell us if he were really being honest about his time as speaker. Your question is just give up and quit. Well, I'm the right guy to ask since I just quit. Yes, I quit. I quit everything. I, I hate it here. I'm going to go put on black lipstick, uh, turn out the lights and listen to Marilyn Manson in my closet while crying. <laughs> Obviously, a little artificial intelligence used there, but it, I, I, I could empathize with Kevin McCarthy if he actually felt that way. Again, that was artificial intelligence. All right. The original Never Quit video posted on X since September 19th has also been updated with community notes. A simple, he just quit on December 6, 2003. The end of the Kevin McCarthy era in Congress. All right. Finally, we saw Times Person of the Year drop this week. And of course, it was Taylor Swift with three different covers. Our friend Ebeth360 posted her own version, maybe an alternative person of the year. Yeah, Alyssa Heiderschneid, she's that uh, Bud Light marketing executive that went with the Dylan Mulvaney thing, really had a big impact on 2023. Uh, Dr. Ricardo Harambe also posted, I think, John Tobacco's person of the year, George Santos. Here's one from Prison Mitch. Britney Spears was also in the running for a while, but didn't quite make it. And then a final one from our friend Grand Old Memes here, Taylor Swift with Travis Kelsey on the cat's head. Maybe an accurate description of their relationship. I don't know. I don't really have any insight to it, but um, there you go. Memes of the week. All right. Uh, we all get the implications. John, I hear, you, uh, submitted a, I hear you submitted a meme of your own for us this week. Tell us what you have brought to the table. Well, Johnny, you know, you and I always share an affection to call out how poor Jim Cramer of CNBC is at calling stocks. We've joked around about how um, there's actually a fund that does the opposite of Kramer and crushes it every year. I saw this tweet from Ashley Sinclair, who was a great uh, Internet provocateur, that said, Jim Kramer is sitting behind <laughs> me on the plane. I'm scared to ask him how he thinks the flight will go, <laughs> because usually whatever he says, the opposite happens. So she probably didn't want him to say we're going to be OK because they were going down. Yeah, if, if, if Jim Cramer's sitting anywhere near you on a plane and he tells you it's going to be a smooth flight, you better buckle up. That's <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> get a, Yeah, get a parachute. Uh, Melanie, any of the tweets that we referenced out that stood out to you? Uh, listen, I loved all of them, but I, I feel like the Taylor's to T-Swift one was a little bit of hater. Hateration on on somebody's part. Don't do, let let people be happy. If somebody found love, let let them be happy. It's their relationship. The one with the head, I was just like, really, come on now. I, and and who cares who time that one? 
And also, who cares yes. who Time Magazine's Person of the Year is? I've literally never cared. I cannot recall. Unless they call me and say, you're going to be the person of the year. I don't Great. care. Well, uh, for, for people, people who've been tuning in long enough, we, they, they know we like to have a little fun on this show. We also have a segment we do called Stories We're Not Covering to reference exactly what you were talking about right there, Melanie. We did that story in the segment of Stories We're Not Covering. Um, or, I, you know, I say it's really stories we wish we weren't covering. You kind of have to cover them sometimes, but we wish yeah. we weren't covering. All right. Melanie, John, thanks for being with us here on Meme Team and playing along. And uh, we always appreciate uh, submissions to the Meme Team here. So you can reach out to me on Twitter or, guess now, X, Instagram as well. Share those memes and have a little fun with the news. Great to see you both. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, JB. Have a good one.